Alright, Halos, welcome back. We are once again in a new game. We're starting a new series playing Minecraft Legends, or uh, Minecraft Dungeons, rather, sorry. Um, this is actually one of the coolest little games that I actually played quite a bit of when it first released, but I haven't really touched it too much recently. Um, this is a character selection or a creation screen. You have a lot of different characters you can choose from. Um, I'm not really sure which one I should go for. Could just go like. Alex, that'd be very basic. Um, we've got really cool ones though. They have like a lot of different like preset ones that are pretty neat. Um, animations are cool as well. But I think I kind of want to go. I kind of want to go with uh, with this. Where is he? I just saw him a second ago. Um, sorry, one second. <laughs> I completely lost the guy I was looking at. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Wasn't one of these, was he? Oh, there he is. Yeah, I kind of want to go with uh, with this little guy right here, but um, we don't have to. His his hair looks kind of weird though, right? Uh, maybe not. Let's let's go with someone else. Let's go with like uh, this. This guy looks freaking cool as heck. All right, let's do this guy. Uh, I have another character that I used to play on a lot, but I'm gonna try start a new one from uh, from zero. So yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go straight in. Um, I don't really remember the difference between online and offline games, but I guess online games obviously you can uh, someone can join you, but, um, yeah, let's go ahead and start. You know what? I guess I will make it an offline game. I don't, I don't really know the difference, but we'll do that. Traveling to Squid Coast. This will be our first, um, first introduction here. Hopefully the villager, or the sound is okay. This is a time for heroes like yourself. Make haste. The villagers have need of you. Nice little panning overshot. Um, I do want to mess a couple of settings real quick. Uh, new objective, go to the village. We'll definitely do that in just a second. I do want to uh, up the audio because it sounds very quiet. Yeah, it is very quiet. Okay. Uh, let's definitely change the audio level. That should be about right. We'll have to see. We might have to change some of this like uh, stuff later. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then uh, the other thing is I want to go to my graphics settings. And that should all be fine. Let's make sure V-Sync is off because I don't like that. Um, FPS counter, I'm not really worried about. Let's go ahead and change this to... 120 is fine, I guess. We could go 60, though. Yeah, we'll do... We'll do 60, maybe? That seems like good. Yeah, and then we'll go... Make sure everything's good here. Yeah, this is all fine. Cool. Alright, sweet. That should be fine. Alright, try to move around a bit to stretch your legs. Left click is moving around. I am p playing on PC, uh, if you did not know. But yeah, can't go back onto our ship, sadly, or whatever we came on. But yeah, let's move around. We got a little bit of a sword here, it looks like. I already know my controls. So we have a, a level 1 sword, which does this damage, and you can also enchant it. We'll get around to that in a minute. We've got a bow as well that we start with, but other than that, we're pretty basic. Um, we can put on capes, some of the stuff that we have. Um, these are kind of cool. Uh, I think I'll go... Hmm. I think I'll go with this one. It looks very nice with my, uh, with my guy. And then we've also got a bunch of little, like, uh, little people that we can take with us. Little pets or whatever. This is a baby gas. I've never seen this one yet, so that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and check him out. See how he does. I haven't used this guy before. Follow, find the objective. Follow the navigation mark to reach your current objective. Let's check to see if there's anything over here. Um, actually, you know what? Let's not even worry about that. We'll do that stuff later if we want to. Um, yeah. All right, we got our first enemy little guy. We got some emeralds from him, so that's cool. Is there anything hidden up here? Sometimes they do hide little things back in the corners, so you definitely want to check them out if you want to be a completionist like I am. Oh, we got another zombie. Nice. What is that? Uh, arrow or something, it looks like. Alright, nice. We attack pretty quick, so that's good. Cry for heroes. Okay, that's where we need to go. Is there anything over here? No, okay. Got it. Alright, we gotta pick up the arrow bundle and we can actually shoot this guy up here if we right click. That's how we use our bow. 
Uh, is there anything down here? Doesn't seem like it. A little building, but we can't go inside, so that's fine. Oh yeah, so tab is open map, open and close the map. We, might f we probably would have found that out later anyway, but I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of figure out where we're at. If we go up close, we can grab the, uh, they kind of like suction into us, the, the emeralds. Doesn't seem to be anything over here. But yeah, you have little pets that follow you. Um, this game's really fun. I don't know if you guys have played it or not, but it's definitely worth a play, I would say. We did get hit by that arrow there, but it's okay. okay. There's not a whole lot of like extra stuff on this beginning map. It's just like an intro map, pretty much. But yeah, the the sword is like a three hit weapon. The third hit, third hit does quite a bit of damage, so that's cool. Got some more arrows there, so we're up to 158 of those bad boys. And if you hold down the click, uh, the left click on PC, you'll just walk in the direction, of course. Or you can just keep tapping and clicking a bunch. Also an option for sure. Okay. Can't go far than there. Secure the inner gate, a cry for heroes. Alright, nice. We defeated them. Level up. Enchantment point earned. So yeah, you can enchant your weapons. Um, so yeah, it'll, it'll do a little quick um, tutorial here. Select an item of your gear that you want to enchant. And then you can choose from randomized enchantments for every item. Select one now. Uh, so we can do this one. Attacking drains your life to grant one stack of pain cycle. At five stacks, your pain is channeled into your next attack. So attacking drains your life. That doesn't seem like a good thing to me, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, enemies you defeat have a higher chance of dropping emeralds. This is actually relatively decent, so um, we could do that. Let me just check what the bow upgrade is real fast before I do that real fast. 30% uh, chance to summon a poison cloud that deals damage and then burst bowstring shoots nearby mobs when you roll costing one arrow per roll projectiles deal 40% of a charge shots damage okay yeah I think definitely prospector is going to be what we want to do right now so nice got a little bit extra um... oh we have emotes as well it's kind of interesting I don't know how you use emotes but yep yeah, sure uh, anyways uh, what was the enchantment again? It's Prospector. Enemies you defeat have a higher chance, so 100% increased chance. Sweet. That's nice. Get a little bit of stuff. Sometimes there are invisible chests that will just pop up if you walk into a certain area. So sometimes you do want to explore a little bit. You can also cross some gaps by rolling across them. Fireworks arrow. Nice. That's really cool. An artifact we can actually equip. Uh, right click. Firework arrow in the art the firework arrows in the artifact category category rather to equip them. Uh, the fireworks arrow has a 30 second cooldown and it does 44 range damage and explodes when doing an AOE effect. So you can use that on one of your arrows if you want. Now it's equipped. You can use it whenever you want. Press one and then shoot the enemy. Let's go ahead and open this. Blast multiple enemies with a single arrow when using the powerful artifact. Of course, it's just one enemy there, but yeah, that's that's what it looks like. <laughs> you can also dodge enemy projectiles, but it's a little tricky sometimes. So. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the things I'm talking about. So you can't actually get over there, but you can roll across. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot that, but it's fine. If you line yourself up correctly, you can roll across. <laughs> and then we'll have to do the same thing to get out. And if you fall off, you'll just respawn, but you'll take some damage. Kind of like a regular dungeon crawler. Right. Let's continue on our merry way. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys like this kind of stuff, this kind of content in this game. Um, I'm very interested in doing more of this game for sure. But um, if you guys don't show a lot of interest, I might not do like a super deep playthrough or anything. But I would like to definitely play through this game uh, if possible. And yeah. Alright, um, that's pretty much it. We could explore the area. I don't believe there's any bonuses, um, but this is the little camp, so you're setting up camp outside town, which is what it is. So let's go ahead and finish the map. to rescue the villagers, but don't fret. They're still out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. And she pretty much says that regardless, but yeah, let's go ahead and finish things up, and then we can wrap up this, uh, 
Actually, you know what? We'll do a full level this first episode, and then maybe do one level per episode next time. Uh, mission summary, we got AP. Not, don't remember what that is exactly. Um, healing done, damage dealt, projectiles hit, players down, all this stuff is cool. Uh, 906 blocks walked on, it's kind of cool. And then you get a little chest once you complete a mission. And then this we get a fishing rod, the chosen companion of any true adventure. The fishing rod is useful for, useful for more than just fishing. It's a level four um, artifact. New feature: raid captains. Be careful here. Raid captains have been spotted in the area and could show up in any mission you have already completed. The raid captains have a bounty on their heads. Take them out to receive additional rewards. Okay, that's cool. That I didn't uh, didn't used to have, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and equip our fishing rod. It stuns them for 3.1 seconds and then it is a 1.5 second cooldown so pretty nice if you want to stun your enemies definitely useful uh, let's go ahead and check out our little area adventure hub this is like a battle pass type of thing so you can pay to get uh, some free stuff as well I guess we have not gained all of this stuff though so let's go ahead and gain these free stuff or maybe it's literally just free stuff I'm not 100% sure but yeah we've got some stuff here claw marks Okay, uh, but this one's un is locked. I guess. Uh, oh, okay. The AP. So if you go higher AP, then you'll you'll get more rewards. I guess. Pig splat. Okay, interesting. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, moving on. Um, yeah, kind of interesting. I guess we're in season three or something. Uh, select missions. Once you feel uh, ready to continue your quest against the Arch Illager, open the map to select your next mission. So yeah, that's one way you can do for sure. Um, but I just want to uh, look around our little area first, just real fast. We've got a storage chest that we can store things in if we want. Uh, we got our mission, mission select, which is the same thing as that map that I showed you a second ago. And then we've got this whole little area. There's actually a little house in here that you can kind of explore. We've got some pigs in there for some reason. <laughs> Uh, and then this is our little room that will actually get a little bit decked out once we do more stuff in the game. So that's cool, you can always come back there and check it out. And then this is a little target, target dummy to see how much damage you do and stuff. So you can kind of just check that out. Alright, uh, right now we have a normal bow. It does use your ammo sadly, so you do want to be a little bit sparing. Because um, you won't really get that back unless you're attacking, uh, or unless you find arrows in chests and stuff. There is actually a hidden chest here somewhere, usually, that you can open to get some free emeralds. Uh, I'm trying to find that real fast, and then we can move along with what we're doing. That drawbridge is up so, up, so we can't quite go there yet. But yeah, if we, if we can get that free chest of emeralds, that would be ideal. There's also some other stuff once you've uh, progressed farther in the game. Sometimes the chest shows down here. Doesn't look like it's down here this time, or at least I can't see it. They might have changed the map around a little bit since I last played. So, yeah, uh, either way, it looks like that's probably not what we want to do right now. Uh, it doesn't look like I've, I can find it right now, but it's okay. Uh, there's also a tower of like challenges and stuff over here, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Let's do the main, the main mission, and then we can do the rest of the stuff later. Um, you can check out the next mission by just clicking this and just figuring it out um, but yeah let's do creeper woods which is the next one you can actually make it a harder difficulty and you can get uh, higher difficulty gear but um, it's not super advised generally speaking because the enemies are much much harder so definitely like go at your own risk for sure but our power level right now is one which is based upon our level of weapon um, bow just everything we have basically averaged together um, and then we can get more stuff depending on what level. So this is better artifact gear by higher difficulties, but it's going to be pretty hard to defeat. So we'll just start with our recommended power uh, for now and go ahead and do that. So let's jump straight in, shall we? Traveling to Creeper Woods. That'll be our first stop. And then we can end the episode after this little mission. Lots of by enemies in this one. the Illager's decree, all free folk are now enemies of the Illager Empire. Somewhere in these woods, a caravan is transporting villager prisoners to labor in far-off lands. Find the caravan and up. stop the illagers, or there's no telling what dreadful doom will befall our villager friends. All right. 
Let's go. Little pets right inside of me. That was weird. All right, let's uh, let's do our best. So it looks like our normal attacks do 10 damage, and then our both bonus attacks do uh, or our third attack rather does a uh, what was it? 16 damage. Yeah. Let's just check around here because, like I said, sometimes just walking around will pop up a little chest. Sometimes they hide little stuff back here. Hidden chests and such. Doesn't look like there's one this time around. That's fine, though. And it just depends on the the time you go. Like, you can reset and go into another match, and then it'll, like, the same level, and it'll, like, reset everything. So, it can be good. Uh, pork is useful for, obviously. Ouch. Healing. So now we can go ahead and do that. Alright, TNT you can throw by using the same weapon as, same button as, uh, <laughs> as your arrow. You do get XP for killing enemies as well, which you will level up there, down at the bottom, as you can see. These little pots you can grab for free emeralds as well. Super useful. Alright, we don't actually have to kill all the enemies to free him, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. And then let's go ahead and free him, make sure we didn't miss any enemies up here. Yep, nice. Awesome that little guy. I don't think there's anything back here. No, there isn't. Alright. Then sometimes if you kill the uh, the sheep and stuff, they will uh, they'll have little um, what do you call it? Bring up our map here. They'll have food that drops out of them, or like little potions and stuff. Sometimes so it's, it can be useful to do. Let's check out this little area down here. I want to remember what the uh, control is for the like mini map, not like the full the full map. Map overlay, there it is. Yeah, the tab. So that's what we want to use to kind of quickly look at the map. Sometimes, yep, there we go. See, there's a secret invisible chest that if you walk closely, you'll find. All right, so now we have an axe. Um, let's go ahead and equip it because. It has a spin attack move, and you can also enchant it if you want. That's kind of interesting. But uh, I'm not super worried about it right now. You can also salvage this, and you'll get your enchantment levels back. Um, looks like we gained a couple new things, so that's something to check out. Nice. Alright, the, the sheep blocked my uh, blocked my fishing rod attack against the, the little skeleton there, that's funny. There we go, I can stun those guys. Go ahead and grab this, and this is actually a little secret area. That isn't the way to go, but I'm going to go ahead and go there anyway. Let's activate this. Let's go inside here. New location. All right, we unlocked mission unlocked creepy crypt. All right, there we go. We cleared the area, so now we get a weapon. Let's go ahead and go to safety and equip this real fast. It's a little bit better than my previous weapon. It also has echo, which is pretty nice. Um, let's go ahead and disenchant this, or salvage this rather. And right now, this is our best weapon, so I think we'll just keep this for now. But 
It could be useful in certain situations. So we have more enchantment levels now, so that's useful. Um, speaking of which, actually, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and enchant a little bit. Uh, thundering, looting, looting's not too bad. We'll go ahead and do some looting, and then we'll do. Ah, uh, that's not really worth it, actually. We'll just save our other enchantment level for now. I wonder if offline actually pauses your game. Oh, it looks like it does actually. Okay, so I guess online doesn't pause your game and offline does. That makes a lot of sense actually. So cool. That I didn't know actually. So that's neat. I like it. it used to be that you couldn't really pause the game. At least uh, not that I remember. Shadow form is you do a special attack and you're invisible while you before you attack again. And once you attack again, you are once once again seen. Let's go check out these uh, side areas real fast and then we'll do the rest of it. Strength potion obviously gives you strength. For a certain amount of time, I think it's around 30 seconds or so. Let's go ahead and grab this extra stuff. So we got an axe, but it's not as good as ours. It's uh, level 1, and our current one is level 3, so it's much better. Yeah, so like 15 to 23, and then 13 to 20, so it's marginally better, but it's definitely better. Alright, this guy was waiting for me. Alright, take those guys out. We have regeneration, so we're fine with no, no matter what damage we take here, pretty much. They do, uh, the animals also give you XP as well, so definitely worth taking them out. Alright, there's a little bonus area over here, it looks like. Let's go ahead and take him out real fast. Some arrows he dropped. Is there anything over here? Sometimes in these little areas, a invisible chest will spawn. So, you can sometimes look out for that, but it doesn't look like that was the case this time around. Which is just fine, no worries. Got some creepers over here. Okay, so down is the way we want to go, but I want to check out this little bonus area over here first. Anything in here? Looks like an enemy's gonna spawn. Alright. Nice. Alright, grab our stuff. We got some wolf armor now. Okay, so armor you can equip as well. Um, this one specifically is a level 1 armor. It has, gives you plus 1 health, uh, which is not very much right now, but these, they do get a lot better. Um, and then twi plus 20% weapon damage boost aura, so anyone very close to you will actually have their dam weapon damage also boosted. Health potions heal nearby allies as well. Um, that can include like little summons that you have, because you can summon little allies. Um, and also, of course, if you're online, it'll heal your ally if they're nearby. Um, using a healing potion causes an explosion at your pet's location. Okay. And then whenever you use a healing potion, you sometimes create random consumables. Uh, we do have a healing potion if we need to use it. So far we don't, haven't, haven't needed to yet, but um, sometimes you will need to. But yeah, let's, looks like there's a shop icon over here. Old Zelda urns or whatever. <laughs> so, Alright, looks like we're gonna unlock a shopkeeper maybe. Yeah, merchant unlocked village merchant. Thank you, sir. Poof. Alright, let's head back to back to where we were. Oh, let's grab this as well. I missed that the first time around. Is there one on the other side? No. Okay. Let's head back out, and then let's explore this little area over here as well. See if there's anything worth taking. Oops, didn't mean to press that. Nothing down here, it seems. New invisible chests. <laughs> Um, nothing over there, it would seem. Ah, oh, nice, there we go. Got a nice 
little chest here, another axe. Um, even if you don't really want the weapons, you can always um, disassemble them or salvage them, and you will get uh, emeralds back. So it's still worth grabbing because you can basically disenchant them or dis uh, disassemble them, salvage them, whatever you want to call it, um, and you'll get free stuff back. So it's definitely worth grabbing. Let me check the unexplored area over here. It was indeed something. All right, cool. And let's head back up and go the way it wants us to go this time. <laughs> but yeah, I can make uh, shorter videos, just like one level of video, or I can just kind of go off like based on time. Whoops, didn't even see that guy. Um, let me know what you guys are interested in. I'll do my best. Oops, I almost fell off the map there. Oh, nice. Our enchantment was uh, was useful there. Um, let's check up here real fast. Yeah, nothing here looks like. Is there anything over in this corner? I don't think so, but let me double check. Nope. Oh, okay. Move along. Nice spin attack. Ooh, nice food as well, it's good. Alright, apple's perfect. Little, uh, Enchanter guy there. He'll buff up his allies, so you don't you want to kill them pretty quick, actually. Little campsite we just passed. A little boat down there. That's cute. Yep, he was about to enchant that guy, but we got him in time. There we go. No one for him to enchant. As you can see there, the spiders will actually trap you in place, which is not very fun. A cool little place I don't remember seeing before. Nice, okay, so we got an apple there for some healing. Got an enemy over here, but no, ch no secret hidden chest. Alright, what we got up here? We got a well. Oh, there's a little supply depot in here it looks like. Some nice urns. Doesn't seem like anything else. Let's check out the surrounding area though. Yes, you just want to dodge out pretty much, because they will get you. Cool. Nice. Little bonus guy there. Got Hunter's armor that time. Uh, it's a level 3 armor, actually. Oh, we didn't even equip the other armor. Whoops. Uh, so level 3 armor gives plus 8 health, uh, 10 extra arrows per bundle, and then 30% more ranged damage. So that's pretty neat, actually. Uh, speed synergy, a little bit extra movement speed. What's this? Rolling makes you move faster for 3 seconds. Not super worried about those right now, but they could come in handy. Free the villagers. One of five. There's the first one. Alright, free that guy. Oh, 
that guy, 4 of 5. And is there anyone else over in this corner? These secret chests. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Alright, cool. That's fine. These little plants like hid from me when I passed by. Do you see that? <laughs> Alright, we got one more. He's right up there. So let's, uh, let's kind of make sure we take everyone out here. Now there used to be a hidden little thing here. Okay, there is. Nice. Looks like you just walk over it maybe? Oh no. Yeah, okay, that's like a pressure plate. Okay. Used to be like a button you press and you can actually go inside there. But uh, I think they changed that actually. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Alright, another supply chest. Let's go ahead and free this guy and then that, that gate should open for us. Oh, there we go, new objective, find the exit. Yeah, I'm not sure what that opened there, but it's probably a secret pass somewhere. Alright, let's check out this little area over here first. Just to make sure there's nothing else bonus over here. Okay, doesn't look like it. There's a little urn over here though, we'll grab that for sure. We got the secret brew. Alright, or shadow brew, whatever it's called. Anything over here? No, it's a nice little place. pretty much the end here. There we go, that should be the end of them all. Um, okay, yeah, you can use your potion, of course. I think sometimes there's a secret little urn or a chest over here, but it looks like not this time. It's okay, though. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and use the potion just for fun. You can get rid of the tutorial message, and then that's the end of this little These mission. These are free from the clasp of the Illagers. Yes, they are. All thanks to you. You're welcome. <laughs> Traveling back to camp. All right, just open 100%. Nice, we got them all. It looks like that's great. Mops defeated 99%, so I guess we must have missed one, and then. Took a little damage, 303 enemies defeated that round, and we almost are next level on the uh, like battle pass thing or whatever. Zero players downed, and let's go ahead and open the chest. Death Cap Mushroom. Okay, these are actually super good. They increase your attack speed and your damage as well. Um, those are super good, actually. 8.2 second duration, and it's a 30 second cooldown. Um, so, it's pretty nice. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and salvage these since these are basically useless in terms of not it being as good. Um, there is a thing where you can actually um, re-roll them to be a higher level uh, once you are a higher level total in terms of like power here. But uh, as you can see, my power will go down if I if I equip things that aren't quite as good. Um, this stuff is also included in that. But yeah, um, for now we're just gonna get get rid of them because I'm not I don't think the uh, enchantments on them are that important. Let's go ahead and check the village merchant. So he's got a little discount here. You can spend some stuff for more arrows. Uh, Filming quiver, seven range damage per second, 30 second cooldown. 
gives you burning arrows. And then you can get a longbow, which is a charged attack. So you hold down the, the right click or whatever button it is. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today. A little wolf up there, that's cute. Uh, thank you guys for watching, I really do appreciate it, and we'll catch you in the next part.